Happening tonight, a big movie remake heads to the big screen. Emma Watson and Dan Stevens star in Beauty and the Beast, a live-action take on the Oscar-winning animated film. Experts say the film offers a modern twist on the tale as old as time, but the nostalgia is what attracted most of the cast. You know, it's a great and classic fairy tale, and I think the magical thing about fairy tales is that they are, they bear the retelling by each generation. We were 10 and 12 when this yeah. movie came out. We saw it in the theater. We, we were the generation that was inspired by this, you know, renaissance, this Disney renaissance. The classic remake based on the French fairy tale hits theaters tonight, and the film inspiring a group of local teens who will take on their own version of the tale as old as time. The students in Glenver Middle and High Schools and Cave Spring High School, they're all teaming up for a three-day performance of Beauty and the Beast Jr. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joins us live this morning from Glenver High School, where the performances kick off tonight. So, Aaron, this should be a great show. What can folks expect to see? Good morning. Yeah, it absolutely should be a great show. We're here on set and take a look at this set. I mean, it is beautiful. The costumes are absolutely amazing. So it's definitely going to be a big performance this weekend. Joining us now to talk a little bit about what we can expect is the choral director, Terry Haney. So you said it's no mistake that you guys planned this for the same weekend that the movie comes out. Talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. We talked about doing lots of different shows, and then we realized that the brand new movie is coming out, and it's coming out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And so when we planned it, we decided that this weekend was the perfect weekend to be able to do Beauty and the Beast. And talk a little bit about the planning, too. A lot of excitement, I'm sure, that went into the past seven weeks really getting ready for this. Absolutely. It starts before that because you have to get the rights for it, and you have to get auditions mm -hmm. and everything before you start the first absolute um, practice. And so so we are, we're into it now about three months, but wow. we've only practiced for seven weeks. For seven weeks. Definitely something to look forward to. And we have Peyton here who is playing Belle as well. Now, Peyton, you said this is a movie that you grew up watching. What's it like to get to play the star character in it? It's really fun being able to play one of my favorite Disney princesses because, like, I grew up watching it. So, yeah, it's really fun. Yeah, and talk about the excitement for this weekend. What are you most looking forward to? Um, I'm just looking forward to, like, doing the show and like yeah it's gonna be yeah. so much fun well thank you guys so much and good luck to you and we will have more throughout the morning including some performances we'll get these guys singing coming up in just a little bit jen and patrick it's gonna be a lot of fun out here all morning long thanks right. so much aaron yep. well it's a lot of look for you this morning from glenver high school where local schools are recreating beauty and the beast more on what's expected coming up at 5 38. A new version of The Tale as Old as Time hits theaters today, and it is already breaking records. Disney's live-action retelling of the 1991 animated classic Beauty and the Beast has set a new ticket sales benchmark. According to Fandango, the movie has become its number one family film for advanced ticket sales, surpassing previous record holder Finding Dory. The film opens across the country tonight. And another version opens on the stage as Roanoke County students have been working hard for a couple of months to put on their own version. Of Beauty and the Beast. The musical features students from Glenver Middle and High Schools and Cave Spring High School all teaming up for the very first time. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joins us live, and Aaron, a lot of, wor of work has gone into preparing. Good morning, guys. Yeah, definitely a lot of work gone into preparing for this. And in just over 12 hours, Beauty and the Beast Jr. will be performing live here on the stage at Glimmer High School. Now, joining us to talk a little bit about what we can expect are two of the students that will be performing, both from Glimmer. We have China and we have Logan. So now this isn't the first play you guys have done together, right? You guys actually started working together on theater back freshman year. Yeah, our first play together was Happy Days, and we were the Pinkettes, and that's actually how we became best friends. Very cool. And 
so now this has been a big production. We've been saying it all morning long. It's Glenver High School students, Glenver Middle, and Cave Spring. What's it been like bringing everybody together for this big performance? Well, there's definitely just a lot of people. It's always crazy. You really never know what to expect, and there's never a dull moment. But we have a lot of people behind the scenes that keep everybody under control, like the, the techies and the crew members. They're great. Very cool. Good luck to you guys. Now we have a special performance. This is one you actually won't see tonight. Both Bells are singing a duet for us this morning of one of the songs that they'll be performing individually in the play. Let's go ahead and listen in. Then, as my life has been altered, once it can change again, build higher walls around me, change every look and heat. And tonight's performances kick off at 7 p.m. You can also catch the play tomorrow night at 7 p.m. and Saturday. There will be two performances on Saturday. We posted all of that information to our website, WSLS.com. Live in Salem, I'm Erin Brookshire, WSLS 10. So much talent. Mm -hmm. Incredible voices. And Erin, their costumes and the set all look quite elaborate. That had to have taken a lot of work for them to get all that pulled together. Oh, I'm sure the costumes in the set are absolutely beautiful. We'll have more on that. We'll show you more of these costumes throughout the morning. And this set, which is realistic, I mean, it just looks just like some of the scenes that we've seen in the classic movie. So we'll continue to bring you more from here, the stage at Glimver all morning long, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very cool. Thanks so much, Erin. And take a live look from Glenver High School, where local schools are recreating Beauty and the Beast. Erin is live with more of their amazing amazing performances when we're back in two minutes on Virginia Today on WSLS 10. Students at Glenver Middle and High Schools and Cave Spring High School, they're all teaming up on a three-day performance of Beauty and the Beast Junior. It should be a great show. WSLS is Aaron Brookshire joining us live this morning from Glenver High School where those performances kick off tonight. Aaron, this should be great. What can we expect? Yeah, definitely a lot to look forward to. We've shown you several of the different scenes. Now you may recognize we are in the village set. And joining us to talk a little bit more about this weekend's performance is Belle, who's played by Peyton. So tell us a little bit about what we can expect this weekend. Um, people can definitely expect to see a lot of different people as different characters depending on which night they come. And not only is it Glenver people, but it's Cave Spring students too because we don't have a show this year, so they mm -hmm. let us audition for this. Awesome. Definitely a big undertaking and a lot of these costumes very intricate. Some of them took more than a day to make. So now we have Gaston who is played by Will. You're going to walk us through each of these characters, kind of show off some of their costumes. All right. So... Here we have the ever so lovely Belle uh -huh. in her normal village dress, <laughs> taken right from the movie. And then we have Madame de la Grande Bouche with her dresser dress, which took a little bit to work on. Yeah, that was one of the ones that took a while, right? Oh, yeah. It took a bit, but we got it working now. And then we have Belle number two, mm -hmm. wearing her beautiful up. golden dress, as always. And then we have the ever so important the Beast, however, <laughs> because he's not wearing his Beast apparel, this is simply the Prince. Yes, he looks very handsome this morning. <laughs> Indeed he does. <laughs> and then we have Mrs. Potts wearing her beautiful outfit. As you see, we've got it billed here to give the Miss Potts appearance. Uh-huh. Then we have... Babette. Forget, Babette. <laughs> Babette. <laughs> looking... We actually had to get individual strands of this to give the whole feather duster apparel going. And this next one is really cool, Jenna and Patrick. Check out these. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have Lumiere. We have Lumiere. We have Lumiere with these custom-made uh, candle things to give the appearance of a flame, which yeah. was actually done with a fan, and then we just put this light little cloth here and some lights, and it gives off that flame effect. Very cool, and so we'll definitely have more on all of these costumes, more on the students, what you can expect during this weekend's performances coming up in the next half hour. We'll also have some more performances as well, so you'll have another chance to hear these students sing, and you guys have heard a little bit of it already. They sound amazing, Jenna and Patrick. Every yes, little do. detail that you reveal, I keep looking forward to your next live hit, because it's something new that you're showing <laughs> off and it's equally as cool as the last thing. 
I know. It's awesome here. I mean, they've worked so hard for this. So big performance. They've been rehearsing for more than seven weeks. So it's definitely something to look forward to. And we'll keep you coming back with more excitement throughout the rest of the morning, guys. Wow. And a live look for you this morning from Glenver High School, where local schools are recreating Beauty Every and the Beast. Like more on what you can expect of the show going up at 638. Little town. Musical feature students from Glenver Middle and High Schools and Cave Spring High School all teaming up for the very first time. WSLS 10's Aaron Brookshire joins us live this morning. And Aaron, we've been seeing little parts of it throughout the morning, and it looks like a lot of work's gone into preparing. Yeah, definitely a lot of work has gone into preparing for this. This is the first time ever that Glenver High School, Glenver Middle School, and Cave Spring High School have all teamed up to put on a musical like this. So a lot of hard work, and it's all about to pay off this weekend. Joining us now to talk a little bit about what we can expect is the choral director, Terry Haney. And now you said that with all the students taking part, more than 60 of them, there are actually going to be two separate performances, right? Yes, we have four performances, Thursday night, Friday night, and two on Saturday, one at 2 and one at seven and we have two casts so the Thursday night and Saturday night is the mirror cast mm -hmm. and then Friday night and and Saturday at two is the rose cast and so with such different casts I'm sure that the play itself is really takes on a different feel right you could actually come to like Thursday night and Friday night and see almost two different shows mm -hmm. because it gives a completely different feel with the different leads yes yeah very cool well thank you so much and we are going to check in with some of the stars of the show now we have Belle and we have the Prince up here Carrie and Trevor now you guys have been working hard rehearsing for more than seven weeks what's it like to get to play the lead roles in a big play like this that people are really excited for it was just really fun meeting new people I had a lot of fun getting to interact with people from Cape Spring that I would have never gotten to meet otherwise and mm -hmm. it was just a really good experience and we have the uh, prop here right here the rose that's shown in the movie and the new movie talk a little bit about that too um, the rose is a symbol from the Enchantress. She basically gives the beast until the last petal falls off the rose mm -hmm. to get another woman to love him in return as he loves her while as the monster. So it's basically a challenge within himself to find the courage to speak up and actually talk to the girl that he likes, but he's ashamed of his monstrous form. Very cool. And the prop you guys have here is absolutely beautiful, as are all of the props here at Glenver High School. Now, as we've mentioned, this play will start tonight. The musical starts tonight, and it runs throughout the weekend. Jenna and Patrick. And Erin, it looks like a lot of really unique details have gone into the set and all of the props used for this production. Yeah, it's the set, the props, the costume. There are so many little details that you're going to have to come out and see in person. We've been showing them to you this morning. We'll post all of those videos to our website, WSLS.com, so you can see them there as well. But really so beautiful in person, something you'll definitely want to check out for yourself. All right, Aaron Brookshire live for us this morning. Aaron, looking forward to this show. Thanks so much. We leave you with a live look from Glenver High School, where local schools recreating Beauty and the Beast. The tale as old as time kicks off tonight at 7. Enjoy. We thank you for joining us this morning.